All right. Welcome to part seven of the Super Mario Bros. Wonder playthrough. Um, what I was going to say last part is like, I'll be the hero and record Trash of Us part two because I know nobody wants to buy that game, but I just remembered I threw out that game as soon as I finished it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you didn't like it? No, I didn't like it. Why? Because uh, I thought the story was dog shit. I see. Yeah, and like. What story game, was dog shit? Trash of Us 2. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. What I about it was I dog shit? I didn't like it. I just didn't see the fucking point of killing off Joel. Like, what was the symbolism behind that? And like, it, it's to what, transfer the torch to Ellie. What was and like, I, to, I thought that was going to happen naturally anyway, because, like, the, the first game had this, like, this natural setup, like, because Joel did the thing. <laughs> um, there's yeah. obviously, obviously going to be I, some animosity towards that. I honestly don't think that ki killing Joel was what's bad about that game, because, like, eh. Oh, really? Like he's the fa he's the like the fan favorite character, so obviously, like it sucks that he dies. But but yeah. I can understand from a storytelling perspective why they did it. My main problem is that halfway through the story, they just like forget about rising action and just <laughs> yeah. Because because <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to spoil it, but halfway through the story, you switch perspectives to a different character. Yeah. I'm not gonna say who that character is no, or you like can, why. You can, you can spoil it. Like nobody gives a shit. And also, Josh. Well, yeah. Truthfully, I don't care to play it. Honestly. Basically, in like the lead up to the final conflict, you switch perspectives and then go back to the past to experience the story from the other character's perspective leading up to that conflict. Also, not as a dark side story in SA2, <laughs> which fucking blows because it's like all leading up to a climax, and then you just get blue balled and go right back to like like the beginning where it's all like slow yeah that that game is yeah it's i've also said it it's structured <laughs> it does have the light side story and dark side story of uh, sa2 but they're not selectable but if files. you want if um, you want to do the light side and dark side story have them happen alongside each other where you're switching throughout the game not like in the middle you just play through the game again because <laughs> that's fucking dumb like even honestly though, I see like i think it would be much more uh digestible if it was like a file select thing and just like sa2 because what they do it how they do it in the game is fucking like resident evil code veronica where um like for the good majority of the game you play as claire then suddenly switch to chris for some fucking reason mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah like like literally at the halfway point with like n like <laughs> there's not even like a build up in that game where it suggests that you would even play as chris and then you suddenly play as chris <laughs> yeah <laughs> I think that's an example of why it doesn't make sense to do that. Is because it it seems it's confusing and it's like it's it's it can be hard to follow and understand why it's going on. Mm -hmm. Like you're just like, oh, I guess the game's not over. I guess I'm now I'm this other person. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and there's a course... reason. There's a reason movies don't do that. There's a reason that like every single like piece of media ever. There's usually the A story and the B story, right? Right. There's like the main story, and then there's like the side story that the other characters are doing or is going on. They don't usually happen one after the other. They're usually like you see you're switching perspectives to see what's going on like in real time. Right. Yeah. Cause, like. Yeah. You get to see both sides of the story happening at the same time. So like, like the climax. Like, can you imagine? Climactic. Can you imagine if in The Hobbit? Or not the Hobbit in Lord of the Rings. If after Sam and Frodo dumped the ring in, it just goes back to the beginning <laughs> of the stuff with Treebeard, <laughs> and then you have to watch the entire sequence with Mary Pippin and Treebeard and the Ents and shit all That's at once. Hilarious. That would fucking blow. <laughs> I would laugh if I'd actually watched any of those. Basically, in in the story. There's while Sam and Frodo are doing their thing, and they're because it splits up. The party splits up, and then they're like doing two different things. You 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 keep switching perspectives between them, so you're seeing Sam and Frodo, and then Merry and Pippin, and then Sam and Frodo, and then Merry and Pippin, and it's like oh, so all of this is happening at once. It's like a big, the world is alive, and all these characters are doing their own thing, and it makes it feel like awesome, right? Right, and then. 
but but instead what it what if what if right after you saw you were like about to reach the climax it just goes back to like it goes to like mary and pippin like fighting a bunch of talking trees <laughs> 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 Dude, we, have, we have like the like black screen that was like earlier that day or whatever like yeah. shit. <laughs> it, it isn't it isn't entertaining to watch and it would just be confusing yeah I mean, it might be it might be good for a laugh but like i wouldn't want to actually have that be how the movie goes yeah i i completely understand what you're saying yeah it is that's hilarious describing it the way that you're doing with the Lord of the Rings example. <laughs> well, I thought that was a good one because that most people one. most people think the B story is a little bit goofy. Um, um, and also like is is not as good as the main story. Most people, not everyone, but so Imagine if you just had to watch the worst story right after the good one. Fair, right? <laughs> I, yeah. I say, I say, like after the good one, but uh, that, yeah, I, the, I get what you mean. It's still, it's yeah. still good. It's like it's just, but it's not the main plot. Right? Yeah, I get what you mean. Like, um, what could be considered more interesting, the A plot? <laughs> you just yeah. immediately go from that to the B plot. Yeah. <laughs> that is fucking funny though. Uh yes, let's have the entirety of Two Towers movie just be Frodo and Sam and then the entirety of uh Return of the King just be Aragorn and shit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but you have to watch them simultaneously to get an idea of what's going <laughs> actually going on. Oh uh, yes. No, this is where the editing editing comes in. Uh you have to stick <laughs> together both movies. <laughs> It's actually you funny bringing it to around uh, to Song Adventure 2 again. Freaking when we get to that game pretty soon, actually, um, we're thinking of, well, I'm thinking, I don't know about we, uh, um, I'm thinking of actually showing the game in like chronological order, kind of like mm -hmm. taking the two campaigns. Oh, like, 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 like switching like what story we're in, depending on like what's going on and stuff. Right. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Cause I think that would be fun. Um, <laughs> you have both Sonic and Shadow escaping Green Forest at the same time. <laughs> uh, well, actually, uh, you're actually incorrect about that. Um, because White Jungle Shadow level happens, or White before. Jungle, whatever. Well, well, it happens before the Sonic and Shadow boss fight. Green Forest happens afterwards. Wait, really? Yeah. Because White Jungle Shadow, you're going towards Sonic, and then as Green Forest is Sonic, you're running away before the island blows up. Wait, so yeah. why is it in the order it's in, then? It's, it's uh, been a while since I've played Sonic Adventure 2, so I don't quite remember the order of events that happened. <laughs> oh, okay. But... And then I, I thought those were the same thing, though. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, it, yeah, like you said, it's been a while since you played it, so... Um, the yeah. only time where I think, like, events are happening simultaneously honestly the my, final story <laughs> well besides that obviously but like with within splicing the two campaigns together um i think it's meteor herd and mad space <laughs> oh yeah 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 that i'm there might be another time somewhere but i think it is meteor herd and mad space that are happening at the same time i don't think that, that sounds like it makes sense i don't think i'm going to do it like that um Mainly for the reason why I will not do it for Radical Train and Sonic 06 because all three are <laughs> there at the same fucking time and they never interact with each other. I see. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. But I just think it would be a fun idea to like basically show it off as chronologically instead of like two separate campaigns. But that's the other thing too. Is like with SA2 and and other games of that nature, they. S separate them as distinct them between as campaigns they don't immediately go one in right into the other kind of yeah like trash of us part two did or code veronica yeah did. yeah yeah but basically there's a reason that stories don't usually do that and it's because most of the time it it sucks <laughs> very much so yes <laughs> um there's like one exception and that's um one piece <laughs> <laughs> Which filler arc? <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm talking about the manga, so fuck. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm aware the anime sucks ass because of the pacing. I don't care. I like the story. <laughs> Fair. But uh, basically, 
in One Piece, you almost never leave the perspective of the crew. So it's only after an arc happens and they read the newspaper that they learn what else is going on in the world. Hmm. Okay. Which is interesting because it's like, oh yeah, the world is having stuff going on at the same time, but because you're following these people, you don't get to see it until you don't get to know about it until they know about it. And I think that's that's kind of interesting. Pretty cool. Yeah. And it works. Because it's like it's like oh yeah after after this arc happens then you find out all this shocking news and it's like all this stuff was going on but we weren't seeing it. Yeah, it was like oh, <laughs> you're experiencing the journey along with the characters. That's actually neat. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, I prefer that because if if they included all that stuff like to to be happening in real time as well with like a B story th it would be even more it would be even longer <laughs> <laughs> 2000 episodes uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh i love my 2000 episode anime it's so fun to watch <laughs> oh my god <laughs> the writers the uh, the artists are surely not overworked at all no <laughs> totally not, at all. not. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Ah, uh, yes. Season one, Luffy's perspective. Season two, some other character's perspective on the same story. <laughs> when you were talking about doing like Sonic Adventure two and like chronologically, when you brought up the <laughs> like fucking radical change from Sonic six, I was like, oh god, if we were to do Sonic six chronologically. That would be fucking a disaster. It would. I mean, I'm not... Because of all the time travel bullshit that happens in that game. <sighs> That's a fucking understatement. Yeah, I mean, I think it would be fun, question mark, to do <laughs> Sonic 06 like that as well. Honestly, I might have a bigger problem. <laughs> it would probably give a better understanding of what the fuck is going on in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if only it didn't have the second worst story in all of video gaming. Right behind Trash of Us Part 2. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the only part to look forward into that would be Shadow Roundhouse kicking Silver in the head. That's practically uh, yes, that would be <laughs> the best part of the game. <laughs> but honestly, I might have a bigger trouble with doing Sonic Adventure 1 because there are six campaigns there. Damn, I didn't know there was that many. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Some are longer than others for sure, um, but six of them are still persistent and oh don't they all happen at, like at the same time <laughs> yeah well more or less some campaigns end sooner than others um because i think chronologically i think big story is the last one to end before the final story no that's not true yeah. fucking omega no not omega who the fuck is he Gamma. I think Gamma story is the last one to end before the final story happens. Hmm. Not big. Nice. Why the fuck would I think big? <laughs> oh, him and his fishing. Oh yeah. Uh, that that's also Actually, the other like... thing with fucking. Sorry, Cameron. I'm go about to go. <laughs> no, you're good. Yes. No, I was about to go on it. Oh, oh god, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was about to go on a huge ass rant, but you can go ahead. I, I was going to say, Ethan, you want a rail challenge? Play Shao the Hedgehog, but you have to get all pathways. I did that already! <laughs> did you? Yeah, yeah that's he like, did that. That's literally what I recorded. Okay. We just haven't gotten around to it because fuck that game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did all the he did all the pathways in Shao the Hedgehog, and he was going to uh, edit it so it'll, it, like... <laughs> yeah, I, I, <laughs> so, so it wouldn't be as fucking tedious. <laughs> don't worry, Cameron. I have already done it. <laughs> just, just doing all those pathways just for the game oh, to tell you to go fuck yourself. All ten pathways. In fact, the way that I, I had to show off every single fucking mission in the game. So I had to play the game an additional three times in order to get every mission. Damn. <sighs> Can you play Sonic Boom without you without uh, skipping stuff with Knuckles? <laughs> well, didn't they didn't they patch it out? Uh, I think they did. Yeah. Oh, it's no matter. Sonic playing Sonic Boom is not well. I was about to say not painful. It's just 
it puts me. To sleep. <laughs> Literally, the only reason why I had to finish the save file of Sonic Boom was because of that glitch. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only way I finished the game was by skipping everything with Knuckles. And once they patch out, I was like, Nah, I'm just not gonna play this anymore. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. So the fact that you completed all pathways and you what you said you had to play the game like three extra times. Three extra times to record all the missions in the game. What the fuck? I had to play Westopolis thirteen fucking times. Oh, I hate. It. <laughs> I hate that level so much. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, don't give me PTSD. We haven't even done the commentary yet. Uh, that'll be next year. After SA2. <laughs> but yeah, why well, I figured we'd do SA2 first before all the other stuff doing them chronologically is because fucking that game has no overworld. <laughs> SA1. Oh yeah. SA1 and 06 have overworlds and trying to splice those in together would be fucking painful. <laughs> I said you should have told me when you were uh, uh recording uh Shadow of the Hedgehog, I would have sent you a bottle of sympathy alcohol. Oh fucking oh, <laughs> I did that I did what that. two or three years ago now? <laughs> um yeah, oh. you can still send me one. <laughs> Over <laughs> via mail <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here thinking like if we ever do get around to, 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 to do like a sonic 06 recording we should just wait for project 06 to be finished <laughs> just wait for the boss fight yeah. update for project 06 and then just edit in all the cutscenes. <laughs> only way i ever play sonic 06 again is if i get to drink while playing it i don't want to remember playing it <laughs> <laughs> Who does? I unfortunately, I've, I'm, I'm dumb. I do well, partially. I'm, I'm dumb because I'm a Sonic fan. I've played through that game like fucking three or four times in my life, and so I've wasted. I don't know how many hours that game is. Well, I've wasted four times that amount. <laughs> Two minutes. <laughs> yeah. So, I've also wasted my. I've played through. Rise of Lyric about three times in my life as well. So, I know exactly what I'm doing with my life. Don't and play Sonic, is. folks. Play Mario. Mario's a good franchise. <laughs> do what I do, and save yourself the brain cells by playing Mario. Yeah. Well, all your dead brain cells come from buying the same fucking football game every year. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I love how there's no denial. You trade one villain for another. <laughs> okay, I see your logic. You should do um, playing all of the Legend of Zelda in chronological order. I tried doing that. After after Ocarina of Time, you have to start playing three games at once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, today will be Link to the Past Day. Tomorrow will be Majora's Mask Day. <laughs> and the other day will be Wind Waker Day. Oh, uh, yes. I yeah, tried uh, doing that, like, way back in my childhood. Because um, that's when I actually gave a shit about the Zelda timeline before I figured out, oh, the Zelda timeline's bullshit. <laughs> no, they, they I just can, make I'm shit up. I'm trying to understand it. They just make shit up, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I figured that <laughs> Every out. Sonic game. <laughs> it, it, well, I, feel, I feel like they just have a dart board with every fucking idea, and then they just throw a dart and see what it hits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like, aside from a couple of the games, the time place it has in the timeline doesn't really matter. It really d well i Sky guess sword, it, it matters that it's the first one obviously well, like i uh, i Ocarina i of time is like a split in the timeline so that's important like i preface it as like literally everything revolves around ocarina of time <laughs> um hey skyward sword doesn't well they they marketed it as a prequel to ocarina of time so it kind of does <laughs> what do you mean a prequel to ocarina of time it's a prequel to the whole fucking series <laughs> they, they yeah, my favorite sequel to ocarina of time was popular 
Well, yeah, that, that's uh, like, I don't doubt that, but <laughs> everything literally revolves around Ocarina of Time. See, uh, upward is also part of revolving. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So like, yeah, it's a, it's it's fucking stupid. Every every everything splits off at Ocarina of Time, and then everything comes back together for Breath of the Wild, and then fucking yeah, <laughs> for whatever reason. And it's like I like how they said Twilight Prince, both Twilight Princess and Wind Waker are sequels to Ocarina of Time, but they're not direct sequels like Majora's Mask. Okay, <laughs> so it's just like every other Zelda game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're like they're like this is a zelda game they could have just said that and we would have understood and see the thing is like with that song i'm glad i'm glad mario's timeline is basically non <laughs> non important me too it's songs <laughs> mario has a timeline <laughs> mario has a story <laughs> uh mario it's just, it's just the same thing yeah. none of the games require knowledge of the other games to play Thank fuck. <laughs> except Galaxy Two. Galaxy Two. Yeah, I was gonna say, no, I was gonna not say not like not Galaxy Two then. is like that exception. Not even then, because like I feel like if you went into I mean, Galaxy Two, like fucking Bowser kidnaps a princess again. Yeah, oh, but like there's like, a bunch of like there's characters in Galaxy Two that are, are in Galaxy that are referenced or are in Galaxy Two that aren't like in other Mario games, and they like know Mario. Sure, like you can probably get that idea by having the fucking two in the name, but at the same time, like you don't need to have played Galaxy One. Well, like, no, just, you don't need all the Mario Party games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do I have to play Mario Parties one through nine to understand ten? <laughs> <laughs> what about the overarching plot of the Mario Party series? <laughs> How about Josh constantly winning at Mario Party? See, that's the real story. <laughs> that's part of the lore. <laughs> that's part of the Mario Party lore. Josh winning every fucking year. H has anyone outside of Josh and me won? Nope. Not yet. So, it's just been Josh and me. And you won and Mario Party I, 1. <laughs> I, yeah, I won the start of it, and that was out of complete fucking happenstance. Yeah, Josh has won every game since 2. So... <laughs> I can't remember which one we're on again. <laughs> luck. We're that's, doing just called, that's just called being skilled. We're doing six this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I just bought the GameCube uh, microphone so we could play all the mini games. Yeah. Oh, is that, that why you were asking about that? Yeah, because Mario Party 6 is the introductory of the GameCube mic. Huh. Yeah. Uh, I miss Mario I miss doing the Mario Party. Yeah. Why do I gotta be all the way on the fucking East Coast? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You. Ask your parents <laughs> before going online. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta ask my parents before I can access the laptop that I bought. <laughs> don't look at the the interesting files. 